In 1066, England was conquered by French knights from Normandy, led by their King William. The Norman conquest was the end of England's status as a Norse country and anchored it more to France. But what if the conquest had failed? Today we examine what would have happened had the Norman conquest of England failed. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all of our weekly videos about history. Thank you. In 1066, Anglo-Saxon England was successfully conquered by William of Normandy, a French aristocrat who crowned himself King of England after his victory. And Norman French culture, language and law would be deeply and permanently ingrained into English culture. But what would have happened had the Norman conquest failed? The critical battle of the conquest, the Battle of Hastings, was very close and could easily have gone the other way. So what would have happened if it had done and the French abandoned their attempts to take over Anglo-Saxon England? The first thing is the landscape of the UK itself changes. After their conquest, the Normans dotted the UK with many imposing castles to maintain local control, the most famous of which was the Tower of London, a building that would play a very prominent role in English history, which would include the execution of three queens of England. Without the Norman conquest, the UK is not covered in castles that make it famous, especially not the Tower of London. One other thing that would have changed had the conquest failed would be England would remain anchored to the Viking world. In the centuries prior to 1066, waves of Viking conquerors had made England a colony. Norse culture had heavily influenced England and the Norse language had heavily influenced the English language. Norsemen were the kings of England, such as Canute, but the Norman conquest changed this and instead made France, not Scandinavia, the main anchor for English royalty. Much of English medieval history in our timeline was England's ethnically French kings fighting for wars in France over dynastic claims, the Hundred Years' War being a good example of this. But if the Norman conquest failed, this long period of war in France by English-based kings probably wouldn't happen. This would mean no Joan of Arc, who only rose to prominence due to England's French King's Wars, which would not have happened had the Norman Conquest failed. Another thing that changes if the Norman Conquest fails is the English language itself. Prior to 1066, the English language looked and sounded a lot like other Germanic Norse languages. As this shows, Norse and Old English were almost identical, and this would have stayed this way with no conquest by Norman French knights. But the Norman Conquest caused hundreds of thousands of French words to enter the English language over the centuries, and up to 40% of English words can be traced to this, and if you change any language by 40%, it sounds and looks very different. So, had the Norman Conquest failed, English speakers would have been able to understand Norwegian, Danish and Swedish rather well, but as it happens, an English speaker can understand French words more easily. Also, many things about English law and politics would be different. The British Royal Family coat of arms features on every British passport the words Dieu et mon droit, God and my right, a coat of arms that would have been different had we not become Francified. The British government meets at Parliament, and Parliament comes from the French word parler, meaning to speak, so it meant a place where leaders spoke to each other. Also, English laws are signed off with a proclamation, la reine le veut, meaning the Queen wills it, and had the Norman conquest failed, this quaint aspect of British law would not have been there. In short, the Norman conquest totally changed the UK. It changed its language, culture, landscape and law. And had it failed, England as we know it today would have been very different. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.